All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. So today I'm super excited because we are going to be doing pretty big NCT miles today, but then we're going to go do a refeed meal with you guys. So to start off, we are at the Buckeye Trail Trailhead on Blue Lick Road, just outside of Chillicothe, Ohio. Okay, and we're going to be going to the uh, North Country Trailhead, which is on the other side of Chillicothe. Okay, so basically we're gonna go do somewhere between 12 to 15 miles, we're guessing. Um, there's so many variants here, we can't get an exact mileage or even actually close to an exact mileage, so we're just gonna do it. But for those of you who don't know, we've been on kind of a weight loss journey. I'm down 60 some pounds, my wife's down 40 some pounds, and generally speaking, we always stay in a deficit. As we creep closer to our final goal for now, we kind of are starting to get closer to maintenance level. Now, I'm not gonna go into all that. Basically know that I eat about just under 2,000 calories normally a day. If I'm really trying to cut hard, I hit about 17. You've been running 13 for a while, but you've cut down to 1,100 calories a day, right? Mm -hmm. So these days we hike, what we wanna bring to you is, if you hike big miles before going to eat a big meal that you know is not gonna be that great for you, you can kind of reduce the damage it's going to do. Now today we're going to take it to an extreme because we can never do anything small. So you got to make sure you watch till the end because this is going to happen. And I get two whoppers. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> That's not good. Just remember guys, there isn't bad creators, there's only bad ideas. And that's probably what this is <laughs> going to turn out to be. Wow. So as you can see, it's going to be an epic event. It's going to be amazing. Lots of calories. Obviously, when we sit down to do that meal, we'll explain more about the calories, how much we burned, how much we ate, and how trackers are not exact. But for now, it's time to get going here because it is awful brisk. The leaves are falling, the colors are changing, and it's going to be a beautiful day. Let's go. Right, guys so we just got done stopping in at the family dollar to pick up some drinks right here and it's on the corner of 50 and 327 so 50 and 327 it's a nice place to stop you're doing this hike and Missy got something that I haven't seen before Powerade Ultras it says that it has 50% more electrolytes BCAAs and creatine in it and it's still zero calories so that's pretty cool something new we're gonna give it a try we'll let you guys know but Going with our theme about talking about calories and how refeed works, when we were walking here, we ate our breakfast, which was just some Cliff Bars, 250 calories each. So we're gonna put that on the board, and as we eat things through the day, we'll update that, and then you guys can kind of see how the refeed works. But we gotta get some miles going, because we've only done like two and a half so far.
All right, guys, so we're about five miles in. Now, that was kind of weird because you enter what is labeled as an AP reclamation. I don't know, AP's working on changing the poles out, says the hard hat area, but basically it's a big cow field. And when you walk through it, it's there's no trail you just walk the power lines you just follow the power lines all the way through the uh, cow pasture yeah it doesn't make much sense watch out for the cow patties but that said it allows for some pretty epic views up on that hill so kind of take the good with the bad on that one now we are at five miles so we're having our first kind of fuel up we got apples which is gonna be about 67 calories and mozzarella sticks but these are skim so they are how many 50 calories 50 calories each so we'll add that to the total and we are going to get our butts down the trail here i really like it so far it's it's been pretty nice i like it what do you think i think it's been a wonderful trip yeah i mean road walking is never the best but when you're on roads like this or going over like cow pastures like that and getting views is worth it and the fall is a great time to be doing it too lots of color but down we go, down the trail. All right, guys, how cool was that? We go through that tunnel and you step out and your view is this. Really? You want to know why we do these NCT and Buckeye Trail miles? Because you would never be able to see this if you didn't. It's just an amazing thing. We come walking out and I was just stunned coming out of that tunnel. I thought it was cool going in the tunnel. Then you come out and it's got all the fall colors are starting to hit I mean an epic view now we are just over eight miles so it's time for a snack so I have I'm not sure why I have two. Oh, one's mine just... so I have another mozzarella stick and then we are going to have a cliff bar this one's the peanut toffee buzz what do you have I have vanilla almond latte so some cool flavors we're gonna get these down. It should be uh, like 250 for the cliff and then another 50 for the mozzarella stick. I'll put all the totals up in the corner here. And uh, I think we're gonna actually just take a moment, eat this, enjoy the view, then we'll get back on trail.
How you doing there, wifey? Okay. <laughs> Is that your friend? No, it was not my friend. You don't like snakes, do you? No, and he didn't want to move off the trail. And then he ran towards me and scared me. <laughs> my I heart's beating a thousand miles a minute. I went down right past him and he didn't have a single problem with me. They don't like me. So we just came down from the ridge up there. Gorgeous views up there. Drop down, cross the railroad tracks as you saw, and we are just over 10? Just over 10 miles. So we're just over 10 miles, feeling pretty good about the trip, estimating about three and a half left. But we're in soybean growing country. And like literally as far as you can see is soybeans. <laughs> but there's some nice ridges to check out and stuff. We are headed down that way to cross a bridge over some creek or river. I think it's Scioto River. All right, so we think it's the Scioto River. We'll let you check it out when we get there. All right guys, so we just popped out of the woods here, made it back to the car. Good old Mir Sports uh, waterproof cooler. Did an amazing job of keeping these cold all day. You know, I'm gonna put the link to that down in the description. Mir Sports was nice enough to let us beta test this thing and it has been flawless every time I've come out of the woods. It's kind of our go-to now. We make sure it's in the truck every time with some Mountain Dew Zeros. So that goes to no count to our calorie count. So we ended up doing how many miles? Oh, um, I think we did 14. Yours showed a little bit over 14. Mine showed right at 14. So we're going to call it 14. And that brings us from 49 down to 35. So now it's refeed time. Now we don't normally do this, but it's really important for us to show you guys that if you're one of those people that wants to lose weight, but you don't want to give up fast food, it can be done by being more active. So. I believe that we have, uh, let's see, 500, 600, so 667 each we've ate between our two protein bars, our apple, and our two cheese sticks. Yeah. So we will put that together with our calorie count, what's left over on our calorie count, and we'll get back with you when we do the refeed for all the numbers, including all the active calories from today off of our pedometers add it all up and you watch this epic meal we're about to have this will show you that if you go get active you can still go eat piles of fast food this is about to be epic hi thank you for choosing burger king would you like to try our steakhouse king no thank you i need six whoppers with no cheese okay That's and that'll be all fifteen dollars first window all right guys so the cat's out of the bag we went cheap 
it is five dollar for two whoppers so we end up getting six now we didn't get anything to drink we have Mountain Dew Zeros no calories okay we're not gonna drink our calories we also didn't get fries because they're high in calories but let me run the numbers real fast before we get into this so normally she eats 1100 calories a day now that puts her 325 calories below what it is required by her body just to stay alive that means like to breathe to beat your heart to go potty to brush your teeth these normal daily tasks are figured in and it's your bmr so basal metabolic rate i believe it is so she basically sets her calories below that level so 325 every day and over time she loses weight that way that's how she's been doing it. now any active calories which means calories burned outside of those normal activities like walking like our 10k steps a day or hiking or anything that goes to put her in a bigger deficit to lose more weight i'm at 1650 calories which is about a 500 calorie deficit daily all right so right off the bat those numbers are factored in so no matter what we do as long as we stay below the active calories for what we hike today and the calories that we're allowed to have daily for our BMR as long as those two we stay within those numbers then we're already down 325 here and 500 calories here so no matter what we're losing weight so what you're about to watch is us losing weight while eating massive amounts of food now you burnt 1100 calories today hiking active calories now please understand pedometers and all them apps they don't do the best job of figuring out how many calories you burnt it's just a, a best guess situation so no i would not tell you normally we just eat our regular calories and all that would go towards weight loss but we wanted to do something epic it wouldn't make a good video if we just ate our normal low calorie high density foods you guys want to see us stuff ourselves with stuff that's bad for us so come on now i burnt 1700 calories so unfair we yeah. walk the same distance yes but that's how it happens because she's shorter and she's a woman so that's both working against her so basically she's got 2200 calories to eat today i have 1650 plus 1700 and i don't even know right off the top of my head what that is but you got to take 667 calories out of that for our two protein bars we ate today two things of string cheese and the apple so take that out and we end up with enough that i have 2700 calories left over all right and you actually have more than enough to cover your two burgers so at the end of the day when all said and done i am like 475 calories in a deficit she actually is going to do better on this deal because some of those active calories are going to go towards her deficit so she'll be just over 500 calories in her deficit so we both are at the 500 calorie loss range even after what we're about to do because four of these burgers are mine and that's 2700 calories right there so i'm done after this she has like 200 calories left over she's putting towards her deficit because she's eating two at 678 calories a piece which is over 1300 which is calories. over 1300 calories <laughs> So let's put this in perspective. Give me one out of there. I don't even know if I can hold all these in one hand. This is what I get to eat. This. Now, she. And I get two whoppers. I mean, look at this, guys. It's gonna, a lot. it's gonna be, it's gonna be an effort. Can you eat four of those? I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> We're gonna find out. So, I think that we can get started here. But first, I gotta get my pop open and everything else. So give us a second to get everything organized so we're not making a mess everywhere. And we'll be back. And uh, some of the parts we'll fast forward through so it's not boring. All right, guys. So let's get started here never actually ate four whoppers 
Never even tried. I never had the reason to. Now, I don't recommend you reading all your calories you work out with because you won't lose weight usually. But it wouldn't be an epic refeed if we didn't do something stupid. But I'll still wake up tomorrow and lose weight. You can bet on that. Sometimes really nice to be able to go do something extra though that you normally wouldn't do. Go out and hike like 10 miles and then go have a steak dinner and you can be a habit guilt free. Or if you want to have a burger and some beers with the boys, go do a 10 mile hike. It almost will cancel it out as long as you keep it reasonable. Man, that is good. I realized how hungry I was. It only tastes good because we're hungry. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be good, honestly, if we weren't hungry. So, we didn't get it with cheese on it to save us a butt ton of calories. But, I would say we're probably going to eat it all these pretty easily. We had considering doing White Castle, but when we found out they were doing the two Whoppers for five bucks, it saved us like 15 bucks. Plus my wife doesn't have to smell me all night. <laughs> That's a plus in itself. Okay, that's number two. And if you don't think it's weird to be sitting in a car, talking to a camera, slamming Whoppers in the middle of Chillicothe, <laughs> comment, it's not weird down in the comments. So we know that we're not the only weird people that do this. <laughs> number two. Okay, number three for me. Number two for me. And to the guy sitting across the way at the AT&T store in his car looking at us shoving these down her face, I hope it's a good show. <laughs> these things are actually kind of heavy. Yeah, they are. That last one had a huge piece of uh, tomato in it, but they are smushed. Here we go. How you doing? Do you hear that? That's not good. All right, guys. I'm three whoppers in. This would normally be what I'd like. My pants are going to bust. It's time to stop. Just remember, guys, there isn't bad creators. There's only bad ideas. That's probably what this is going to turn out to be. Wow. I can only imagine how you feel because I am struggling on just getting my second one down. You're doing good though. But for a girl, and with my reduced calories I normally take in now, my stomach has shrunk. Yep. These are really hard to eat, two of these. But I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> you earned it today out on that trail. 
All right, guys. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It really can't be helped. Excuse me. All right, number four. Jeez. Danger. Here we go. You okay? All done. What's taking you so long? I hear <laughs> I'm hurt. My stomach is ready to bust. I bet. But you earned it. This was such a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Whose idea was it? Okay, guys. That is how you put away 2,700 plus calories in the span of probably about 10 minutes. Whew. Wow, my gut hurts. <laughs> Oh, how are you feeling? My tummy is super stuffed, mm. like uncomfortably stuffed. So we were at about nine minutes there, is what took us to eat that. You ate 1,300 plus calories, oh. and I ate 2,700 plus calories. 4,000 calories together. But it just goes to show you how calorie dense these foods are. Now the sad part is I actually look at my macro and micro numbers and the micronutrients on a Whopper if you put it in your tracker and look it up you would think like on a burger if you go look at a regular burger it has tons of mac micronutrients in it. In the tracker when it comes up at the Whopper it is so devoid of nutrient. I don't know what these fast food companies do to their meats and their buns and their stuff, but the macronutrients are way low compared to if you made them at home. That said, you're out, you're about, you know, sometimes you got to just get whatever you can get to eat because you're busy. It doesn't just have to be before you eat this stuff, okay? If you're in a hurry one morning and you got to go out and you got to have Egg McMuffins for breakfast and you eat a couple of them and you over calories or you're trying to lose weight. Go take a walk that evening. Do more towards the better side if you're trying to lose weight. You'll be surprised the results you'll get. Mm -hmm. Because we will wake up tomorrow morning and have lost weight. Lost weight. I guarantee you. Because calories in, calories out beats all. You can have diet. You can have workouts. You can have whatever. But at the end of the day, if you take in less calories than you put out in energy, <laughs> you will lose weight. 60 some pounds 40 some pounds it don't lie that said i need to go home and let my woman rub my belly until she brings me some coffee while i'm in the bathroom giving this stuff all back <laughs> one way or another because i feel sick but we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope that you enjoyed it enough to click that subscribe hit the notification bell and join the family i don't want to do no more videos like this but this is what i'm gonna say if wow we just about saw an accident that range rover about rear-ended that chevy oh wow that was close anyways if this video gets enough comments on it and you guys want to see us do something like this again we may consider it so in the comments, if you want to see this happen again, comment refeed. If we get enough comments that say refeed in the comments, we might consider doing something like this again. But I hope not. Why don't you call it like refuel? Why is it uh, going to be refeed? Like? Uh, because I feel like I just stuck a feed bag on. <laughs> this is awful. Like I'm being force fed. Thanks for Excuse joining me. us, guys. And we will see you up the trail. I'm so sick. I want to go home. Let's go home. Ugh.